Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This video is called PHP Arrays, and in this lecture we're going to be starting to cover PHP Arrays and how you can use them to supercharge your PHP coding. All right, so in your Code Dynamic Websites course files, you should be able to follow along in 06 arrays. And in here we have three different PHP files, which is different from the previous five folders. We have index.php, which is the, the home or uh, index page of the arrays lecture. We have practice.php and final.php. I want to show you what the web page looks like in our lecture. So localhost port 8888 06 arrays. You can check out the final example, which will take you to final.php. And you can check out your example, which takes you to practice.php. So we're going to be coming back to those momentarily. But first, let's go back to the lecture. All right, so let's talk about PHP arrays. Sometimes you're going to want to store more than a single value within your variables. With an array, that's exactly what you can do. So arrays allow you to store multiple values within a variable. So for example, I think mustaches are neat. There are many kinds of mustaches, and using individual variables, I can store each individual mustache in their own variable, like so. Mustache 1 could be handlebar. Mustache 2 could be Salvador Dali. And mustache 3 could be Fu Manchu. But I'd like to keep things neat and tidy and have all of my mustaches in a single variable instead of three separate variables. So for that, I can use an array, like so. So we start off with mustaches, a variable, and then in the variable, we are going to store an array. So you do that by uh, typing out the array method. Array, open with your parentheses, make sure I have closing parentheses, and the semicolon, so the usual way to write out your, your PHP methods. And there are three um, different types of mustaches here. So I have within the string, handlebar, separated by a comma, Salvador Dali, separated by a comma, and Fu Manchu. So I have all three of these mustaches stored in a single variable. So it's a really efficient way of storing information. So each value is automatically assigned what's called a key in the array. So we can grab a specific value when we need it. And we'll touch on keys later. But by default, each value has a numeric key assigned to it. So to explain that a little further, handlebar has the key of one. Salvador Dali has the key of two. And Fu Manchu has the key of three. So the key is one. The value is handlebar. The key is two. The value is Salvador Dali. The key is three and the value is Fu Manchu. So here's the catch though. It's a little bit confusing, but the numbers actually start at zero, not one. So handlebar is actually zero rather than one. So handlebar, the key is zero, value is handlebar. One and then two, so on and so forth. So if we want to grab a value out of an array, and display it on our web page, we just have to reference the array and the key associated with the value we want to display. So that, I know that was a mouthful, but this is what it looks like. So in your PHP script, we're going to use the simple echo PHP function. Echo the mustache is variable, but we can't just echo all three of them at once. It has to, we have to tell PHP, hey, I want to pull this specific value out of the array that we stored in the mustaches variable. So in your square parentheses, just uh, reference the key of the value you want to display. So echo mustaches zero. This is going to display handlebar. Echo mustaches one. This will display Salvador Dali. And mustaches two. This is going to display Fu Manchu. So arrays are incredibly powerful and there is a lot more to them. So what we're going to do in this lecture is we're actually going to jump in and start um, putting this into practice right away. So let's check out the final example. So we have the final example, mustache types. 
We have Handlebar, Handlebar Sal, Salvador Dali, and Fu Manchu. This is just a simple list, but it is not just static text. We're using PHP to display our array. So let's jump into our code editor. And we are in arrays. And if you click on index.php, that's going to show you the home page or the index of the lecture. We're not going to be using that one, but feel free to check it out and see what my code is. Final is the final, um, the, the final view of the example of what we're going to make. And practice.php is where we're going to put that into practice. So we're going to reference both of these right now. Okay. So at the top of your practice.php page, we'll have your PHP script, a couple PHP comments to let you know where I want you to, to um, organize your PHP code. So let's start with some constants. We have define. We're going to define a constant, and the title will be arrays. So let's type that out. There's the basic define skeleton. Title, arrays. All right, next up, we have some custom variables. So uh, I have the variables my name and lesson number. This is something I'm going to just do in probably all of the following lectures, uh, just as some general housekeeping so that we can fill out what's going to be at the bottom of your, your web page uh, of the lecture. You can see the copyright 2014, Brad Hussey. Also up here we have the title, and the title also displays here. So that's why we're going to be using the constants and the custom variables. So feel free to add your own custom variables here. So my name, add your name, and lesson number, this specific one is six. Now, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but the numbers of the, the lessons or the tutorials within the folders don't necessarily correlate with the actual lecture number in the entire course. So for example, this, uh, we're in 06 arrays, but the actual lecture we are in, if you're viewing this from Udemy or YouTube or Code College, uh, we are on lecture 12. So they're actually separate. I'm, I'm referencing the numbers here in relation to the course file. So this is number six of the course files, not necessarily lecture number six in the, the perspective of the entire course. So hopefully that's not too confusing. So lesson number six, now here's where we're going to add our mustache array. So let's do what we did uh, in the lecture that we just learned. So let's add a variable. Let's call it mustaches. And in here, we want to add our, our array. So let's uh, type out the array. And the first value here is going to be handlebar. Let's add a second one. I believe it was Salvador Dali. And the third one was Fu Manchu. Now you can choose any type of mustache that you would like. Uh, I've just added these three. So here's our mustache variable, or sorry, our mustache array. And now let's just do a little bit of cleanup here. So title, let's replace this HTML comment with the constant that we set at the top of our PHP script. So PHP echo title. That's going to echo the title constant. Down here, tutorial number, the lesson number. We use PHP to echo that. And your page title. So that is another, that's the constant that we use. So PHP echo title. There's the constant. Now, down here in our sandbox, I want you to spit out in the uh, HTML list, the skeleton here, I want you to spit out your three different mustaches. So we're going to do that by going PHP echo. Now we want to echo our mustaches variable, but we need to get a specific value out of the array. So we do that by using square brackets and then using the key associated with the value. So zero is going to be the first one. Let's copy that PHP script so we don't have to type it out every time. A little uh, expert coders tip right there. Paste that out a couple more times. And now just change the key. Perfect. Now one last thing down here. We have the copyright year. Uh, and now 
you can actually use instead of we didn't set a variable up here but you could just straight up use php to spit out the year using the date function so php date parentheses and in date we want to specify y for the year the full year in my case 2014 if you're from the future hello and my name so we have the variable my name up there php let's echo save that now remember this is the most important part of the lecture these were just kind of little snippets some examples that you would use php in the real coding world and here is you uh you're trying to use php to echo your array so let's check it out go to your practice.php page and if you did it right, you should see your three mustache types right there. Handlebar, Salvador Dali, and the Fu Manchu. And it looks like down here, something's not right for me. Copyright. I wonder what that is. Let's go back to our code. Here's the mistake. I forgot to use echo. Now save that. Check it out. Boom, fixed. All right, so hopefully that wasn't too hard. If, uh, if it was a little difficult or too fast, feel free to go right back to the beginning or hit the pause button. And before we move on, I have a quick favor to ask you. I've dedicated thousands of hours to creating great content for my students, and the reason I can reach so many people at this point is because of people like you. This course alone has taken me months to create, and I'm not asking you to pay anything for it. All I ask of you is one little thing. If you're checking out my course from YouTube, I would love if you could share this course with your friends, family, and work colleagues. And if you're checking this course out from Udemy, I would especially appreciate if you could give me a quick rating and review. Using the star rating and the review box, you can leave me an honest review, and you can always change it later should you have a different opinion by the end of the course. You're awesome. See you in the next video.